Hi, this is Dave Weber, and in this episode, we're going to be talking again about method number one. It's a bonus lecture on lens mount adapters with autofocus capabilities. Previously, we've covered dumb lens mount adapters. These are the ones without any electrical contacts on them, and when you use them, you can only manually focus your lens. In this episode, we're going to cover three different advanced smart lens mount adapters. These smart lens mount adapters have electrical contacts that allow adapted lenses to autofocus. There are three advanced smart autofocus adapters. They include number one, native autofocus lenses that are mounted on native smart lens mount adapters. The second type of advanced smart lens mount adapter are autofocus lenses that are mounted on third party smart lens mount adapters. And the third method to get autofocus with adapters is manual focus lenses on third-party smart autofocus lens mount adapters. Let's talk about type 1 smart autofocus lens mount adapter where you have native lenses mounted on native adapters mounted on a native camera. In this case, Canon lens mounted on a Canon adapter mounted on a Canon camera. Now, when a major camera manufacturer goes from making DSLRs to mirrorless cameras, they want to encourage their existing customers who are shooting their old DSLR lenses to buy their new mirrorless bodies. And they know that most of their current customers are going to want to keep, at least for a while, their old DSLR lenses, and they want to use them on the new mirrorless body. And what they do is they develop a highly engineered, high-quality, premium autofocus lens mount adapter for their customers to use that will take their old DSLR lenses and enable them to use them on their new mirrorless cameras. These new autofocus lens mount adapters uh, that are native to both the camera and the lens are just about as, as fast and accurate when it comes to autofocusing as the company's brand new mirrorless lenses are. Now currently, these are the companies that are offering type 1 types of autofocus adapters. Canon for their EF to R mount lenses. Nikon, which will enable F to Z mount adapting. Sony, A to E mount adapting. And Leica, R to M mount adapters. Now let's take a look at type 2 smart autofocus lens mount adapters. They're really about the same as type 1. The main difference is type 1, the camera manufacturer makes the adapter, and on type 2, the adapter, autofocus adapter, is made by a third party. Now, these type 2 adapters have full electronic control of the autofocus, the aperture, and image stabilization. And they work with a wide variety of cameras and lenses. Let's take a look at who some of these third parties are that manufacture these Type 2 smart autofocus lens mount adapters. As you can see, there's a whole lot of them, and they make types, uh, various types for many lenses and cameras. Hopefully, you can find uh, your gear uh, made by one of these companies. The prices vary from a low of about $50 to a high 
of about $400. Now the one I'm going to be showing you today, this one, is made by a company called Photodeox and it's called the Visilex Fusion Smart Autofocus Lens Mount Adapter and it's priced at around $200. In my test I found that its speed was good but not great. Let me show you. Turn it on. It works best in good light and in low light it, it hunts a little bit. Now there is a bit of a learning curve at the beginning when I started to use this. I'd say I got probably 50 to 60 percent keepers that were in critical focus and then after a few hundred shots I was getting 80 to 90 percent keepers where focus was dead on. So it takes a bit of time to, to master one of these Type 2 autofocus adapters. Now I haven't tested all of these as you can imagine, but if you are considering buying one, just go to one of these websites and check out the customer reviews and ratings of the various models. And I think that should give you a good feel for the relative performance of the different Type 2 lens mount adapters. Let's talk about the third type of smart autofocus adapter. One where you take manual focus lenses and you put them on a third party adapter and you get autofocus capabilities. Sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? David Foldy, a Toronto photographer in March of 2020, called this particular Type 3 adapter the holy grail of adapters because it would turn any manual focus lens into a fully autofocus lens. There's a link to his article in the resources section at the end of this episode. Let's take a look at this so-called holy grail adapter, this ultimate adapter, and see if it lives up to its height. Now, the one I have right here is called the Photo Deox Pronto and it's for Leica M lenses being adapted to Fuji X cameras. Now there are these other companies that also make a similar Type 3 adapter and you can see their prices vary and the cameras and lenses they work with also vary. And I'm sure if you did further research you'd probably find some other autofocus type 3 adapters that that you could find but these are the most popular ones. Now I tried all of these lenses Pentax lenses and Nikon lenses uh, on my two Fuji X cameras and I did some extensive testing of this Photo Deox adapter and what I, what I found was that this adapter, while it does make these manual focus lenses into autofocus lenses, it doesn't work very well for video because it, it hunts. It works best in low light and each lens performs differently. Some lenses perform terrifically while other lenses barely focus accurately at all. When you set your camera, uh, I found that the AFS and the AFC focusing modes really don't work. Put it in the manual focusing mode and it works the best. Set your focus as close as possible on the lens and this adapter basically becomes a, a macro extension tube so you can focus really, really close with it. From an accuracy standpoint, uh, it's kind of spotty. Uh, so I wouldn't shoot uh, this Type 3 autofocus adapter wide open with really fast lenses. Rather, stop down the lens a little bit to maybe 5.6 or f8, and that way you'll have greater depth of field, so if the, if the focusing isn't perfectly accurate, you'll still get a keeper picture. Uh, 
one lens, any lens that you have that has over 180 degrees focus throw, in other words, the focus throw on the lens is over about a half a turn, you need to pre-focus that lens before you take the picture. And the final piece of advice is I had regular lockups with this Type 3 Photodeox Pronto autofocus adapter. Okay, let's wrap things up with an overview on how all three types of these autofocus smart lens mount adapters rate it. I'll rate each one in the following three areas, image quality, accuracy, and speed. When it comes to rating these three different types of smart autofocus adapters, IQ rating is real easy. They all rate 10 out of 10 because none of them have any glass in them to degrade the image. When it comes to rating each type by accuracy and speed, I wrote my scores on this chart. Number one type autofocus lens mount adapters when it came to accuracy I gave number one a nine and number one when it came to speed I gave them a nine rating also number two I gave them a six for accuracy and a seven for speed type three four for accuracy and five for speed and I also threw in manual focus lenses on dumb adapters and I gave them a rating of 10 for accuracy and 3 for speed. We all know manual focus lenses are slower than any type of autofocus lens, but if you know how to autofocus and you have the right equipment, autofocusing or, or ma manually focusing uh, a manual focus lens is the most accurate way of focusing. So these smart autofocus lens mount adapters they come in three different flavors and I'm sure that based on this training and a little bit of further research you're gonna find which one works best for you and your type of photography thank you